The quickest way to sound like a better harmonica player is to learn some simple techniques and then add them to your playing every once in a while to make certain phrases and riffs stand out. Variety is the spice of music. And one way of adding variety is to start using today's technique, the glissando, which is a bit of a slide. Take a listen. In today's lesson, I will teach you about this technique and give you three simple licks to apply this skill to your blues playing. So we're gonna get practical too. Let's jump in to the video. A glissando on harmonica is a simple sliding technique. So let's say we wanna play sixth flow. I'm on a C harmonica, by the way. Now, if we were to start on a lower hole, like three blow, and then really quickly move to the sixth blow, that would be a glissando if I sped it up. That's the idea. When you are sliding, you are going to be playing the open holes next to your target note. So for example, if we're using a C harmonica and we slide up to this G up here, which is going to be on six blow, then we would want to start somewhere below that. So I generally think about three holes, so maybe we would start on three blow. Well, three blow is going to be a G as well, and that is going to be three blow. And then we would hear the next note, so hole four blow is going to be a C, okay? So that's four, and that's a C. And then we are also going to hear the E on five blow. So when we move up to the G, we are going to hear G, C, and E played very quickly. You may be wondering what hole you should start on. Now, there is no solid rule here, nothing is set in stone, but I would generally think to start about three holes away from the hole you're trying to play. So if we're trying to play six blow, then you might wanna start on hole three as an example. Now again, this is not a rule, so if you want to go even further down, you can start there. Or if you want to shorten it, you can do that too. And of course, you can glissando up, and you can glissando down. Real quick, to make the most of this skill, you should be applying it to your improvisation. And the way to improvise starts with learning your scales. Did you know about my program, Harp Trainer? It is designed to help you practice your scales by just making it really easy. You have a simple play along video that you can follow with notes and scale degrees, and of course, tabs, and you can just play along with the music. The link is in the description if you want to learn more. And if you want to check out something free to help you out in your scale practice, you can also grab my scale cheat sheet download as well. It's just a free PDF with all of the notes and the tabs of the main harmonica scales. It's totally free. The link is down below in the description. Check it out. I bet you have this idea down by now, so let's go learn something with this technique. I'm going to be teaching you three licks that use glissandos. These don't use bends, so everyone should be able to learn them. So I'm gonna put on a backing track and you can listen to these in context. Check it out. This first lick is very simple. We're just gonna slide up to six blow. And then we're going to hold on five draw. And I like to apply a little bit of vibrato or wah on that note just to give it a little bit of extra interest. Now, when you're doing this slide, generally we think, okay, you want to start at about three holes away, and that is a rule that is meant to be broken, as we're going to, but we're going to start here on three blow, four blow, five blow, and then ending on six blow, but we're going to do that so quickly that you're really just not going to hear them. 
Okay, so that's what it should sound like. So as I said, after that, we're just holding on five draw. And that is the first lick. And that sets us up for lick number two. This is lick number two. Take a listen. To play this, we're going to start with a glissando up to four draw. As I said before, the rule of thumb is to start about three holes away, but in this case, let's practice shortening that and start it on two draw. So you'll just hear two draw, three draw, and then you end on four draw. If you do this right, you're just gonna briefly hear those notes, but you're really gonna be focusing on the four draw. Okay, now after that, we're going to play four blow, then three draw, which if you want to, you can optionally bend if you can bend. Okay, and then we are playing two draw twice. So it should sound like this. I'm gonna play it without bends first. Now here's with the bend. All right, so that is the second lick. Finally, lick number three involves a slide down to one draw. Now for variety's sake, let's go extend this a little bit. So we're gonna start on five draw this time. You're gonna hear all of those holes in the middle as you slide down. Okay, now after that slide, we are going to play two blow, two draw, three blow, three draw. It's gonna sound like this. Here's it again. All right, so those are our three licks. I'm gonna play them now without the backing music just so you can hear how they fit together. So we're starting with the slide up to six blow, then to five draw, and then the gliss up to four draw, and then play a little phrase there, and then the gliss down to one draw and the phrase there. Here we go. Now you would repeat this a whole second time, and then that brings you to the last four bars of the blues, which you could either put a different turnaround in here, or you can just play the second lick again, as I did in the video with the backing track. Now that you've learned these licks, let me show you how these work in context one more time with a backing track. And before you do, if this video has helped you out, consider hitting like on the video. It helps this video reach more people. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn another technique, which is vibrato, then you can click this video right up here, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.